too big and not tough enough. Well, that's pretty wide. Yeah, a little narrower. Yeah. Yeah, got the idea there. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to ask, actually, I read that they're planning on opening the building on Sundays. So they're going to have classes on Sundays? Some, yeah. Do you get here? Yeah. Oh. But not always. Because, yeah, they, they just started doing some Saturday classes, too. Well, they've always done Saturday classes. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I'd never ride, like, I'd never come in here and had a class from the last time I came in. Oh. I looked, I was like, oh, there's a class right yeah. They What they usually are is, well, there's always a hand-building intro. Stuff, oh, yes, yes. But um, in here, it's usually like a two-day workshop. It was a Friday-Saturday deal. Oh, okay. So we will have some of those. Um... Kristen Groomberger is going to do a couple that are hand building, and then um, we're going to have Kate Inskeep, who is a really good tile maker, doing one. Okay, so you see I left it kind of high, and then I'll finish opening it with this hand. Well, that one I went maybe down a little too far because I was compensating for this one being a little too heavy. So I'm going to pull this with my claw, but you see here that I made that transition like here mm -hmm. so that I keep this shape up here from going out too far. Okay. I think the hardest part, the hardest part is just trying to center four pounds of clay. That is tough. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the word it, I struggled. It's like I got the I got the, the mass centered once I tried to bring it up and put it back down. Yeah. It, yeah. It was not. It, it was no longer centered. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's where the work needs to be. Yeah, I need to. Yeah. <laughs> so you're you're essentially bringing it up to full height at that size without moving it out much. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you already define where this is going to be? It's yeah. going to be right there, yeah. Pretty kinda, much. Kinda so what is our bottom part? This? this part. I'm going to pull that up into it more. Okay. So I'm just kind of getting started, right? Getting it set up. Even thickness throughout? Um, right now it's not quite even. It was a little thick here and I pulled that part back out. So here I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to pull up some more height. A little, not a lot right now. Now they're starting to curve where I'm making that transition. Not as much as when you made your first claw pull, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But you see, I kind of went like that. And so I stopped there because that's my transition point. And I'm going to bring this one in a little bit. You see, so I keep my opening pretty small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then here, I'm going to raise the shoulder a little bit before I continue, okay? Because then I'll pull up a little more here. But I don't want to drop the piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fingers in under that transition spot. And I'm going to pick it up right there from the inside. Did you see that change? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here. What is the finger position again? In here. It's yeah. kind of under here it's like that. Comes. But I was holding this because I wanted to keep this stabilized. You could also have it in here like that. Okay. okay. So here I'm going to bring this in a little bit. So I used my index finger and I support under where that shoulder is so it doesn't collapse. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to bring this in a little bit more. So this is my little pinky move. So you're not even pushing up, you're just pushing in. I'm pushing in and I'm pushing against this finger and the finger is underneath it Support. so that it supports because I've got a, a wide shoulder, right, that I don't want to collapse. So that's why I didn't do this because I'm trying to support it as I'm squeezing it in. 
So I'm going to pull a little bit more weight out here and adjust that shape a little, and then I'm going to lift my shoulder up a little bit more. I'm going to change the height of where the line breaks. Yeah, did you see that? That was like a push from the inside. And then here I'm going to pick this up a little bit. You're pushing this thing inside? Yeah. So I'm going to move that up a little bit more. But you see all of this is staying small? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's the key of, you know, bringing it back is hard. Yeah. I couldn't really pull. I, mean, I closed it in a little bit. You kept that the same size after your first pull. Yeah. Keeping it right. small. Just opening. Yeah. And I'm keeping that thick. Mm -hmm. So if if your hands don't lubricate it well enough, you can you know use the sponge to get it to glide. So here I'm gonna lift this up a little more. And I'm going to pick this up right here. You see that I'm moving the point? Yeah. And here I'm going to kind of just clean this up a little bit from the inside. So your thumb is holding a clay. From yeah. The bottom, right? mm -hmm. And then here I'm going to create a little bit wider or a deeper angle to keep it from dropping. Okay. And here I'm going to bring that back in a little bit more. The pinky again? The pinky, yeah. So it's sort of like a one finger coloring? Yeah, so what I'm doing is I've got, this is kind of a tricky move, right? But what I'm doing is I'm this is keeping me on center. It's also supporting underneath right there. Okay. My thumb is here. This is helping over here. Mm -hmm. And the pinky's pushing. So I'm kind of going like this and like this. Show that again. <laughs> that and like that. So you see where everything is resting? Mm -hmm. that's, that's supporting the wall. And supporting this. So this is the only finger that's not doing anything. Right. Yeah. So the middle finger supporting the inside. You're mm -hmm. using your thumb and your pinky. Right. To hand to put in. Push right. In. You see? So you see that all of that's pushing together? Yeah. But it's a strong move because when you're going like this, what you could do, what happens is you're going to weaken all of this because it's so wide of an angle and it's sitting. So you can also do that. You just have to be really delicate about it. Okay. So before I kind of clean up that line a little bit more, I'm going to do this edge. Okay. First I'm getting my water out because I want to do this before I'm putting too much pressure here. So again, I'm supporting it while I'm doing this. And I just use my pinky. And you could use a tool. Mm -hmm. So you see that a lot of support while I'm putting that much pressure and that this was really thick. Yeah. So I'm taking that thick clay and I'm going to lift this up a little bit here. So you see that. And you could do it, you know, with your index finger. Or you could do it with a tool. So that's got a little bit of a neck course. The last one didn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's See, taller. Can, and it's taller. And it's taller because remember I said it was a little mm -hmm. bit um, heavy, so I pulled more play out of the base. So I'm going to move this a little bit up some more here. And come back here and kind of take out a little bit of the neck, but leave some. So you're pushing from the inside out to take out the neck? I was pulling the... 
So here is a support. But here I kind of just pulled it up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go back to the transition point and I'm going to put my fingers inside right in that curve so that I can lift up and make more of a line right there. Okay. And see how it dropped a little bit? So I'm going to pick it back up. And I'm going to come back into that spot. So you see now why I would like divide the lip before I did this because this is getting pretty fragile. I'm going to pick it up some more because it's kind of weak. Picking it up will strengthen it. Yeah, I don't want to have the same tendency to drop. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pick this up. See, it's thin right there. Okay. Which is also the weight of the lip on it. Seems like that's made for an outside lid. For this? Yeah. This one, um, not so much just because of that little groove right there. But you could do something like this and just not have this on it. Or you could have like a cool lid that would sit right here and you could have like a double, you know, so it would have the, the little curve yeah. there and then the curve of the, the lid, which would be cool. If you were doing a lid, though, I would have this be more straight right here. Oh, yeah. Right? For, for the flange to sit in. Uh -huh. Okay. And then the water trick, right? Rebecca and Thank you, Shelly.